for Chow. The for recording Chow. has begun. And now we go. Welcome, everyone, to a Three Cynics podcast. I'm Clay, your host and MC. I'm joined tonight by your favorite conspiracist, he who knows Orenthal J. Simpson's story forward and backward, Mark Jr. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. And our stand-in, saltiest crab <laughs> on the seafloor, a man who has not a derogatory thing to say about anything, our father, Mark Sr., that's when you I say do. hello. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. You and our private for... millennial I, I... force, a young man who can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was indeed Colonel Mustard in the library wielding a lead pipe, Sebastian. Bitch, it was a candlestick. Nope, it was a lead pipe. Mm-hmm. Candlestick. See? Eat Don't a dick. It was a rope. Around this the podcast brought to you by listing ships, drunken sailors, and our bonus this week, butt stuff. Enjoy this, once Butt again, stuff. recycled footage of The Witcher 3 while we wax on about interesting stuff that happened this week. But first, because it almost never happens, we have to ask, what's new with Pops? Not a thing. My pen's won. They're moving on. That's the biggest thing. And the Erie Otters have one more game, and they'll win their OHL championship. What is the OHL? Sweet. Ontario, Ontario Hockey, Hockey League. League. The delay is Bunch real. Of kids, For 16 Clay. through 20 year olds. Oh. Yeah, 16 through 20 year olds. They, and if they, they look like they win that, well. then they go to the what's called the memorial. Yeah, they go to the Memorial Cup after that, which is okay. the Western Hockey League, the Ontario Hockey League, and I can't remember the third one, but there's three of them. Okay, but They're what all does 16, Erie have year olds. to do with Ontario? Is it just proximity? Yes. Yes, oh. we're part of the Ontario Hockey League because Ontario's right across, I mean, literally, whatever, miles it's across. A, a boat right away? There, boom, right mm-hmm. there's Ontario. Yep. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That's well, actually quicker with a boat ride than it is to take a bus or anything, so. Nice. Well, dang, Dad's got a lot of stuff go. going on. Mark Jr., what's the magic with you? Um, I started a new job this week doing countertops and cabinets. Oh, that's so, right. How did it go um, so far? Oh, it's going pretty good, although this cock goblin bastard which i shouldn't say that he's super easy to work for um yeah. he's got me doing block out in the house because he fired his framing crew because of hair on use Ooh, so i had to a... go in there yeah so I, I had to go in there and i had to frame in all the bathtubs and showers i had to put up all the handrails i had to uh do all the seam blocks all the backing boards like they framed this whole house clay and didn't put backing boards now anywhere so, oh you mean backers for the ceiling board yeah yeah Oh, no, and, like, they didn't build tees, Clay. They just, like, half ass build a kind of tee. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is that? And he was like, what? I was like, dude, you got to have something to nail to. And he's looking at me like, well, yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. Why? What What the fuck kind of frame would you have? He's like, well, I fired him for, for getting high on the job. And, you know, when people say getting high on the job, I think you're smoking some weed. Like, you can't frame a house when you're smoking some weed. You don't need to be a framer. Just right. saying. That's, like, part of the deal. But, mm-hmm. uh, no, they got fired for heroin use. So, that makes more sense. Okay. Um, so, yeah, no, but that makes dude, more sense. But blocking right? out sounds like a pretty good day. Oh no, it, it was been it's been two days, Clay. It's a sixty four hundred square foot goddamn McMansion with six bathtubs and I don't know how many countless handrails I had to put up. Show how many handrails I put up, like eighteen of them. Um, Damn. So yeah, so it's a huge house. So it's actually been two days of blocking out, and then I set my first granite countertop today. So nice. that was cool. Are granite so. countertops, like, adhered? Yeah, no, dude, straight up silicone on top of the cabinet, set that bitch down, walk away. I was going to say, I don't think that, I couldn't think of any other way to do it. Hmm. No, nope, straight up, put some silicone on it and walk away from it. Nice, that's awesome. Well, yep. good for you. All right, up next, Sebastian. What's the poop, fool? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I knew it all along. Yeah, I, I haven't been doing anything. Uh, I worked... I went to sing karaoke, and I've been going to school. That's pretty much it. Oh, you, you tolerated you Monday Asian? Night Live? Oh, yeah, I did Monday Night Live for, yeah. like, three minutes. Yeah, he tolerated tell me, me for, like, 30 minutes. You just tell me you were Asian? 
Is that what she no. just said? No, There's no way went. you're Asian with that big no. ass head. I, w- <laughs> <laughs> I went and I sang karaoke. Like, yeah, so you're Asian. No. Nah, okay. I've done karaoke uh-huh. before. It's all right. In fact, there were no Asian people there. It was all white people. Stupid That's because you live in an all white town, bitch. Shut and, up. And 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 there was like a couple of black people who were really good singers. Nice. But you just so said you're it was telling, all white okay. people. Next, uh, he's such a liar. Next time <laughs> you go, I need a picture of the crowd because I don't believe you. I mean, you there me? are a lot of that, Asians that and Indians in Ithaca. I mean, so that's why I said I don't believe him. I need oh. a picture of the crowd when you up there singing. Like, I need a picture from my uncle because he don't believe there's no Asian people in here. <laughs> 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 nice. All right. Well, uh, I did things this week. I did Monday Night Live, but I only did it on Twitch. Sorry, YouTube viewers. Oh, also, our YouTube watch time fucking fell through the floor because I stopped streaming on YouTube. I'm sorry. Come yeah. on over to well, Twitch. Well. Uh, you got a whole bunch of people that are telling me they're doing that, Clay. A whole bunch of people telling me that I watch, telling me they're going over to Twitch and other streaming platforms. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it's a trend. And we, we're we not trendsetters. We're trend followers. So I got to follow. Not really. That's not my reasoning for it. But let's just say it is. And, and so we did Monday Night Live on Twitch. It was pretty all right. And I've been playing more of that game. What's that game, Sebastian? Helldivers. That shit is fun. And I'm still... Looking forward to the day that Dad and Mark Jr. can join us. One day, motherfucker, I will. One Hell, day. Helldivers is fun. I like it a lot. And it's it looks very fun. Rewarding. I watched y'all play it. Yeah. So. And yeah. I don't know. We might. I might have a I go at it for the post. Multimedia conglomeration. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I appreciate I, that. There, there is not one thing that you have loaded in the last <clears throat> month. That, that you've loaded on YouTube that I have not clicked on. Not one thing. Nice. Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. See? Mm-hmm. We got fanception going on here. Fans on the podcast. Y'all can't <laughs> stop us. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, I got a sweet sunburn today. I was working outside all day, building uh, handrails, putting posts up under lean twos and stuff. Got a sweet sunburn. I can feel it on the back of my neck feel on my forehead i'm sure you guys could see it yeah i mean you guys can't but the viewers can no Ha-ha! advantage okay so what we got going on this week okay our opening article this one is just for sebastian but feel free to chime in the two marks um sebastian how much meth do you enjoy with your gta i mean um honestly you know, that's, that's a hard question. It depends on the day, honestly. All right. This is an article from Kotaku entitled, 11-year-old gets used copy of GTA, finds bag of meth, by Mike Fahey. <laughs> Isn't that good shit? I know somebody <laughs> is pissed off. And I can of, tell you that right now. Somebody's yeah. pissed. <laughs> of course, this happened <laughs> in Florida because every strange drug-related thing happens in Florida. And but no, hold on. Like starts in Florida. But go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this mother in Havana, Florida, Ms. Kayla McAllister, bought her 11-year-old son a copy of GTA V at the local GameStop. Question one, why are you buying GTA for your 11-year-old? Can't you see the giant M on the black spot? Two. And the giant boobs on the cover. (laughs) Anyway, and so they were going through the long installation process on the Xbox One, so the young man decided to open up the manual and look through it because uh, maybe uh, installing games is boring, and bag of meth popped out. And, and 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 it's just perfect for all this. It was several grams, probably a pretty Dude, expensive dang, bag of meth. Is angry. <laughs> that's yeah. expensive, play. Let me tell you, that's motherfucking expensive, homie. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. G- G's run normally eighty. So. Well, it's six grams without packaging, according to the police report. Oh so, my god. So it's a quarter. That that that's what they wow. would call a quarter. Yeah. So you're probably talking. Probably talking three hundred bucks, Clay. Four hundred bucks. Now somebody is pissed off. <laughs> Are they <laughs> ever? Holy crap! So uh, my, I mean, the important questions here are: 
who lost their drugs at GameStop or who lost their drugs to GameStop and why did this mom buy her 11-year-old son a truly, I mean, if there is ever a mature game, it is GTA V. All right, hold on. You missed okay. a question. Ooh, okay. did I? How did GameStop let the drugs get through? They don't, like, check these cases for anything? I mean, no, they check the okay. disc. They don't care about what's yeah, in, in the book. Yeah, Sebastian. Really? Did you just ask that? Haven't you sold a game to GameStop or traded in a game? They pop that bitch open, they look at the game, they put it back in there, and they offer you a dollar fifty. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> On a good day. Uh, so, on a good so day, yes. If somebody put it in the book and then shoved the book back in those two little clips, you know what I'm saying, to hold the book yeah. in, Sebastian, and then it just didn't pop out or something didn't happen when somebody traded the game, they would never know. I, I mean... No, I don't think GameStop's at fault in any stretch in this one. Although that's who I would chase if, like, my kid had smoked some meth that I found in your video game. Um, <laughs> but no, I don't think it's GameStop's fault. I think somebody made a bad mistake. See, Clay, and I thought what I was thinking when you said it was a drug deal. Yeah, that's See, what I, I wasn't too. thinking. I wasn't thinking somebody lost it. What I was thinking was somebody called somebody and said, hey, man, they'd be like, where are you at? And he was like, I'm not trying to meet you, dude. Fuck that shit. And he's like, put that shit in Grand Theft Auto on GameStop shelf. And dude just didn't get there in time. That's what I thought, too. So, so you think I'm there crazy. was a go between? <laughs> there was a go between working at GameStop? Okay. Now, listeners, I smoke marijuana, okay? I have for fucking forever. I love that shit. But sometimes you do wild shit. Like, I've had that shit left on top in the toilet in a Walmart. And that's just <laughs> weed, dude. We're not talking, We're not talking. you know, heroin or anything. No, I've had that shit wrapped in two bags left in the goddamn top of the toilet in Walmart. Mm. So, people do creative shit. And that's all I could think of was somebody had a drug deal that went bad. And that dealer and or that dude somebody's fucked. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me propose another scenario. Meth user, we'll call him Meth Mike, <laughs> stashes his his uh, his habit in his where his girlfriend and mother will never look, in his video game cases. His shithead friend, we'll call him Meth Friend, Meth friend knows this <laughs> friend. because they get high together, and he's a skeevy bastard. So his friend ain't home, hits up his friend's mom up like, oh, meth Mike said I could borrow GTA. Goes in, grabs the case, knows there's some meth in there. Or doesn't? Wait, no, he doesn't know. He just wants to steal his buddy's copy of GTA. Snacks, snatches up Mike meth's, meth Mike's GTA takes it into GameStop to get his 350 dips and then yeah, Meth Mike comes home pissed thing. as shit not only that he lost his GTA but like hundreds of dollars worth of drugs Damn. I can believe it I wonder what Meth Mike is thinking reading this story <laughs> I mean he's obviously a gamer Somebody's somebody's gonna catch it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, somebody's like, unless somebody's I mean now happen. look. I don't know how meth fucks with you memory wise. Okay? Mm -hmm. But even as a stoner, I will lose all kinds of things. Like all kinds of things. Keys, phones, tablets, you name it, I'll fucking lose it. I know where my bag of weed is. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so um I would assume if you're a meth person, you know where your bag of meth is. And that's six grams, Clay. You're talking a quarter, dude. You're talking some money. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, he... So, I, I like your scenario better, because maybe uh, maybe somebody was a shithead and traded his game in because he wanted to get mm -hmm. something else, but he wanted his 350 for it. Mm-hmm. Thieve and Steve had one out for Meth Mike. What's your scenario, Dad? People are stupid. Indian. That's my scenario. That's all there is to it. People oh, are come on, you're, life is good. You gotta enough. play you the game. We're we're playing a game here. It's your turn to make up how I thought I was. Kaylee McAllister's eleven year old son got a hold of his meth. Uh, 
Oh, maybe he I, was right. a drug dealer. Yeah, I, was gonna say, <laughs> I have an even better idea. Okay, so this eleven-year-old kid, he's like he, he's like hooked on meth, right? <laughs> and, and 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 he's and he's like, and, and his 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 shady his shady friend close fr- family friend sells meth, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna give you a discount. Steal some of your mom's money, and I'll put this in this GTA copy. You come get it, right? So he comes and he gets it and he and he walks it he walks up and he opens it and he's looking for it and it slips out of the manual and his mom catches it and then he mm. plays it off. Oh shit. So little McAllister was looking for the hook up and his mom busted him. Yeah. Mm. Don't Look, I know there's some bad, I know there's some bad eleven year olds out there, but I don't <laughs> think any of them meth dealing. But I could be wrong. I mean I've seen crazier shit, but I could be wrong. I don't think they're out there just passing meth around. I think somebody made a hell of a mistake and or a drug deal gone bad, and somebody's having a really bad day and or whenever it happened. Mm. Oh, yeah. apparently. Also, okay. Go on. Uh, well, like, like, what if this has gone through multiple stores like, and no one opened the manual? Like, This mm-hmm. could have happened a I while. Mean, it's possible. I I own I don't know eight ten Xbox games. I ain't never once pulled the book out of none of them bitches. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The, the manual doesn't tell you anything anymore. So what's the point looking at it? But as an eleven year old, I always checked out the manual. Yeah. So well, manuals yeah. used to be interesting. No, even if I was twelve today, I still pull that bitch out and look at it. It's got pretty pictures and shit. And I'm dying to play this game, but I gotta wait an hour and a half for that shit to load on goddamn Xbox. Mm. So, yeah, I would still pull that shit out. <laughs> well, I would have had some meth. Here's the thing: uh, the people involved contacted the GameStop where they purchased it from to make sure that uh, if if the baggie could have been in the if the baggie could or the game could have exchanged hands both into and out of um uh, GameStop without ever having checked the book but the manager at the GameStop assured her that they check everything in a game case so i think sebastian's they full of sh- they lying out their ass well i mean maybe he was just trying but i mean i'm thinking maybe maybe somebody was expecting a hookup wait in the gamestop and the McAllisters came in and bought the dirty copy that was reserved for somebody else because some unawares salesman didn't know that his buddy or manager his co-worker had had the hookup in a specific game dude hold on hold on i just read i just read further down the article ben. Game, GameStop is a drug ring. Okay, the same exact thing happened back in September in Louisiana. Another eleven-year-old mm. boy, another used game, and another bag of meth. There's a drug ring in GameStop. It is confirmed. Okay. Breaking um, game bad if there, stop. If there was, hold on. If there was meth dealing going on by GameStop, they wouldn't be so broke, dude. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about like <laughs> GameStop itself. Well, somebody wouldn't be so broke. Yeah, no, I'm talking about GameStop itself. Just like the people that work in GameStop. Well, I mean, I sold mar- I sold weed out of McDonald's in the drive-thru. Why are you keep <laughs> talking about these things? I, well, what the fuck does it matter? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, they, they can't encrypt it. Anyway. Dude, statute of limitations on drug dealing is only 11 years, Clay. Long past, homie. Long past. All right, you're 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 giving up too much information. How about our next article? Um, and this is an article from The Verge with some data I found very interesting. Entitled: Most people have never heard of PS4 Pro or Project Scorpio by Nick Stat. Now, I I guess I shouldn't have found this surprising. But Nielsen Games, you know, the famous Nielsen company, yeah. famous mm-hmm. for its, you know, entertainment tracking, uh, collected data from about 2,000 interviewees, uh, a 50-50 male-female split between them, and extrapolated um, that just 14% of gamers 
over the age of 13, you know, those with potential spending money from Grandma and Papa, uh, have ever heard of Project Scorpio. 14% and just 27% have heard of PS4 Pro. So, as Sebastian... What? I never heard of either one. See? See? Gamers above 13. You qualify, Dad. Uh... Oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Sebastian and I, well, I don't... Here's what gets me. 1080p to 4K is not an incremental upgrade. People oh, keep shoot, calling dude. that. I keep seeing that even in this article. You know, they, it's not in this article. I'm paraphrasing all around the internet here. But pe I keep seeing phrases like, with only incremental upgrades within gener this generation. 4K is not incremental. It's four times the resolution. Now, it's not quite yeah, no, no the jump from standard definition. 480p to 1080p because that was almost seven times the resolution but quadrupling it all over again is not small so here here's what i think is going on playstation and microsoft are doing a shitty job of marketing not only the devices themselves but what those devices represent as far as not only a resolution upgrade but just a gaming upgrade all in all it's not small. It's, in fact, pretty damn big, and nobody knows about it. Oh, okay. Here's, here's my problem with the Scorpio and PS4 Pro. Okay. One, the jump from 1080p to 4K. Okay, it's nice to have super, super great graphics, blah, blah, blah. But if that's all you're offering me, and you're offering me a little bit more storage... Maybe some games will run a little better. I'm not gonna buy. I'm not gonna pay another uh, 500 bucks when I have a PlayStation 4 sitting right here. Yeah, but that okay. doesn't have anything to do with awareness. I'm talking okay, about awareness. I'm, I'm getting to that. Thing. I'm getting to okay, that. Okay, sorry, sorry. Go on. Secondly, a, a very small percentage of people have 4K, or 4K capabilities, whether it's their computer or their TVs or things like that. Okay, so. Uh, obviously, it doesn't apply to those people. And um, PlayStation, at least for me, because I have a PlayStation, has done terrible advertising for the play PlayStation uh, 4 Pro because I have not seen a single advertisement for it on the PlayStation. Yeah, you said that in the pre-show, and I thought it odd because every, tur every time I turn on my Xbox 360, there's an Xbox One ad on the yeah. desktop. And so, I have not seen a single PS4 Pro ad. Maybe, maybe is... What's it? Hey, what's Project Scorpio then? What is that? Project it's Xbox. It's Xbox's Explain version of the upgraded uh, console. It's like, it's pretty much the same thing as the PS4 Pro, except... Far Xbox? more powerful. Yeah. It is a 4K gaming machine. Okay. No, to see that 4K, you have to have a monitor that's going to... Yeah. Uh -huh. Or a TV that's 4K compatible, right? How yeah. expensive are those? They're there, not I got expensive. one upstairs, Dad. They're not expensive. It's right there. It's big as shit. It's what about a monitor? It's right there. I no. paid $400 for my 4K monitor. Okay. I, that's a, okay. exactly and, another and, problem. And then you spent $500 on the, on the, on the system. So you got, you got $1,000 almost tied up. And that's exactly. every single what? time you want to buy a new gaming thing. If you don't already have the display, you have to buy it, no matter its resolution. And if you don't already have the console or the gaming device, you have to buy it. That okay. Having to get a display is nothing new to getting a gaming system. The, but there's a problem with that, right? So we, we've had that TV in the living room for a long time. We have not had to upgrade it. And I could plug in my PlayStation right now, and it would look the same as if I plugged it in to another tv right people don't want to have to spend the extra 500 bucks to upgrade their tv when a lot of the people who are buying consoles are the people who can't afford these high-end pcs or things like that or, or, or who want convenience i think it's not, you're mistaken it's, i don't i don't think that at all Sebastian. that's the that's the, tar the target audience is, is, is the target audience is people who who don't want to spend a crap ton of money 
on a super high end PC. No, no. But still want they, a good gaming experience. These are luxury items. Gaming is a luxury yeah. uh, a hobby. It's expensive. Yeah, no kidding. I agree, but there's a difference between yeah. paying four hundred bucks and a thousand bucks. True. But I mean if if you bought into the Xbox three sixty generation and you didn't have a TV, you paid a thousand bucks for the whole package. This is no different. No different at all. If somebody's going out into to get a new television, like right now, the four the four K televisions are not expensive. You can get a, a forty two inch four uh, K TV for four or five hundred dollars. You add yeah, your, dude. At Walmart score. every week, dude. At Walmart every week, Clay, sixty five inch right there, smart TV, four K, the works for six forty seven. Yeah. The works for a sixty-five so, inch TV, dude. So if you get the forty-inch class or the near forty-inch class for five hundred dollars, and the Xbox Scorpio, because you, if if you're looking for a display and you're looking for a a new gaming system, it's still the exact same price it was in two thousand seven. The exact for much better it's, stuff. It's it's probably the exact same price as nineteen ninety nine when the PlayStation Two dropped, Clay. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think <laughs> – see, adoption – you're right, Sebastian. Adoption for 4K is going very slow because people have 1080p, and 1080p looks great. It's a very yeah, good resolution. Does. And, you know, hell, it, on the weird, meager occasions where you get a 1080p signal from your cable box or whatever, it looks awesome. It's like, true. whoa, I ain't used to looking at that. Um. So, it's you think it okay? We're gonna we got to get back to the marketing and the visibility of these these devices. But first, you think it's just because not only are the displays good enough, the gaming machines are good enough. Yeah, I mean like. With the games that are out right now, the PlayStation 4 will run it just as well as the PlayStation 4 Pro. There's not a single game that I can think of that will run badly on the PS4 Pro mm -hmm. or the Xbox One that wouldn't that that would run well on the Scorpio or the PS4 Pro. Hold on, it, would have to it just dawned on me, Sebastian, Clay, and Dad. It just dawned on me. They fucked it up from the very beginning. See, instead of what they should have done instead of marketing it as the upgrade to the console that you have, they should have marketed it as the next one. Yeah, I know. They're fooling people because, into thinking because it's because incremental been, because they're not claiming it's something better. Yeah, but when did the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 drop? Four years ago almost? 2013. Five, yeah. 13. So almost four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's in the new cycle that we've been in. That seems to be it's going to be the norm. So why not market it as the next big thing? Uh, I'm hoping that Xbox will. I'm hoping well, I that think... that Phil Spencer is much smarter than his predecessor. And what it, his predecessor got fired, what, like in the first six months after the Xbox one came out, some shit like that. Don't quote mm -hmm. me on that. But it was after yeah, no, because they did that. such a yeah, poor job. And yes. and I'm hoping that he's smarter because this whole upgrade it like it's your phone, oh, it doesn't really mean much, it's not working, especially for the PlayStation and see, Pro. It's, you just dropped the perfect example. It doesn't make sense because I am one of those people who, now granted, I spread it over one year with T-Mobile or two years, whatever it is, and I upgrade my phone every two years. And I will drop six to $800 and won't think fucking twice. But you throw a console in front of me that's 4K and I can finally use my TV for fucking something. And I'm like, nope. And it's only 500 bucks. And I'm like, nope. So it's <laughs> you, they have to do a better job marketing. They have to, dude. They have to. Well, will you, I mean, I know I'm talking to the wrong people because y'all is the only exception in the whole world and will use a fucking S3 and whatever the fuck mumbo-jumbo shit you got. Um, 
<laughs> what? Y'all do that shit. Clay, how long you had that iPhone before you switched over to the Samsung? Like four motherfucking years? I don't need to upgrade my phones. I don't have battery problems the way that's, other people do. Okay, but that's but that's what I'm saying, though. I'm, you're talking to the wrong people, but I know lots and lots of people that want the new hotness. Yeah, but why so, are consoles... I, I mean, why is this generation... Because it's at home? Because <laughs> it's at home? No, 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 no. There was hyper hype over the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. When they were about to launch... Do you want to know why? Do, do you want to know why? The difference between... It doesn't the, fit your pocket. Well, no. The dif the <laughs> difference between the up the upgrade to the Scorpio and the PS4 Pro and the new console generation is that the new console generation actually had huge graph huge graphic benefits, huge uh, system running benefits. Oh, most games you can't you couldn't run on the Xbox 360 that they were going to try and release for the Xbox One and the PS4 Pro and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas. Almost, I cannot. I like I said, I cannot think of a game unless it was specifically designed for 4K, which that game wouldn't sell very much. That wouldn't run on the PlayStation 4. Uh, well, yeah, Xbox, Xbox I understand One. how it would run, but you know, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 topped out at like 720p on the you know mainstream yes. games. Yes, the mm -hmm. jump from yeah. 720p. Mm -hmm to the 900p or 1080p that the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One accomplished is tiny. It's hardly but shit. it made the difference. Yeah, it made the difference because the other items were so... The other consoles were so old. But the difference was actually much smaller than the difference between the Xbox One and Scorpio. Much, okay. much smaller. It was, okay. It's tiny by but, comparison. But you, you, go, you go play Call of Duty in 720p and then come back and play in 1080 and tell me you're not thankful. I play in 4K, bro. I'm very thankful. Okay, yeah. So, I, I just yes. think that there's not okay. enough to... There, I agree that they have made some serious advertising mistakes, but there's not enough to advertise. So, no, right, see, right. No, see? This is a no, niche market. No, He's right. It's come niche. on. Now, look. I'm not a marketing person, okay? My brain doesn't work that way. But you sell everything. It's like a standard format for 20 teens. The next best thing, or the next new thing, and you can't you can't market that. It's got to be hot. Fuck Coca Cola. Coca Cola's marketing that shit right now, and they've been around for 115 years, <laughs> and they're still the best selling drink in the world. It's so the new hotness. We got your name on the bottle. <laughs> Bam! Sell a billion of them. <laughs> so I just don't understand because it's not. See, Sebastian, I think you're mistaken. I think Clay had the perfect point. The consoles were so old, and that m minuscule jump. And, Sebastian, I played in 720 because the TV, my monitor I have for my computer, which is actually my 42-inch or 32-inch TV, is 720. And I play in that shit all the time. And then I'll jump on my Xbox One, which is 900, and play Fallout. And I don't see a noticeable difference, Sebastian. It still looks good. But when you load in a 4K, which I've done twice on this fucking TV, it's fucking amazing. So you can market it the right way, and you could do it. But it's like, the I don't know why PlayStation isn't marketing. If I was Xbox, I would throw every fucking cent I had. You lost last, last console war. Now, granted, you've caught up a little bit because PlayStation sales died off. Um, but it's your... You need to spend the money in order to get that system sold. Mm. So now, now, hold on. They, we we got to let Dad butt in here. So, Dad, do you think? Do you think? I've got a question. Yeah. Do you think that the these four K, especially four K boxes, are targeted? at a niche market, which I mean, literally they are, because not that many people have 4K displays. So they're targeted at a niche market. Do you think these are potential loss leaders to lead to the next best thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a console guy, so I've never seen yeah, the real... I mean, you've been a consumer you know, about, for I understand 50, that Mark's nine view years. On the, Go on. Yeah, but I mean, I understand it, like Junior's uh, thing with this with this phone, because that that phone is with you twenty four freaking seven, or at least close to it. And, you know, that's why people want the upgrade, whether it's a tiny little upgrade or a big upgrade, doesn't matter. 
because they do so much on that phone compared to what they do with a console, which, okay, they have to sit at home, or they got to lug this thing around to somebody else's house. So it's not that mobile device that everybody wants. You know, when they're advertising these tablets and these folders, or I, mean, I don't know what they're called now, but... Two-in-ones? Uh, you know, the... They look kind of like laptops that they fold over, you know, and they do all yeah, this stuff on the one. touch screen. And that's what, you know, and that's what people, they're so used to that touch screen and stuff with the phones and stuff that, you know, they look at these old smaller computers that weigh whatever, two pounds or less or something like that. And they have a touch screen they can take off, put on, put a different keyboard, whatever. You know, to me, that's, they're looking for that mobility. They're not looking for that, oh, okay, I want to stand here and... I don't know what these PS4 Pros and the Scorpio look like, but people might not Big think they go with their decor. And they, you know how, yeah, well, I'm just saying, you know how people are when you're sitting at home. A lot of people are so into, I have to have this because it goes with this and it goes with that and it matches this so I can impress all my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, I and mean, when you got this box, I mean, I remember with, I think it was the Xbox 360 or whatever that came out with different skins and stuff for it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Was it the 360? Yeah. It came out with all the different kind of skins and stuff you could put on it. and Those sold big for a while because, oh, I'm an individual now because everybody has to be an individual where, you know, we got to show our importance or what they think they're Ain't is, no goddamn is informist. Dad's a communist. <laughs> Get it Ain't straight. No damn okay. informist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I never I, I'm not a conformist, but I mean... <laughs> All right, all right, all right. But what I'm does that? Saying, what does know, people, any of that have to do with how they should market these devices? Well, if you want to make money, and you know you have a niche market, then you make your uh, advertising to hit that niche market, whether it's on a phone, or you know, on those tablets, or on the two and ones, or whatever you call it, or, or and you put it on the channels that. That niche market watch is like whatever. What is it called? CNET and those different tech channels, yeah. Stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You're you right know, because and, you know, and you put it in those magazines. Yeah, the, the online magazines. Or but, you know, if you put it on a phone, right? And not like so me, hard. I'm playing Farm Bill too, right? Okay. And the thing is, you know, when you start it up and whatever, you know, you no. want to get the special stuff. If you don't want to spend your money, you got to listen to all these advertisements, no. right? Well, that's where you put that marketing on because you're going to see it. I mean, I believe you, but I just thought about it. Like, you know, the major graphics cards makers, NVIDIA and Advanced Micro right. Devices. Yeah. Um, they don't advertise mm-hmm. outside of those specialty computer sites and stuff like that because they know mm-hmm. their market is only niche and they're what well, that's what i'm saying you know, the, and the, the it would be a waste the, for them Scorpio, to, they, they should know their niche yeah and it would be a waste for them to do massive right? advertisement because like my graphics right. card is like this giant expensive beast you will never see an advertisement for my graphics card because they know it's a waste of their effort and money so right. But yeah, it's but if they not get you to the site with the home entertainment system. See, if they if they yeah. get you to the site, yeah, if they get you to the site where you can browse around and they put little things that catch your eyes on the advertising side of it, then you go to that big card and you look at it and you go, oh, I get this, I get that, I get it for this much compared to this one here, which is what I was thinking about that was advertised. Right. But oh, but I can get this one. Yeah, but see, they, that's they the thing. caught you. There was advertising there. The niche okay. market. They're just not pounding you with it. They're letting you make, make that decision. The niche market finds what it wants to find. But I think you have a point, Mark Jr. There's mm-hmm. a big difference between a niche graphics card and a niche console. Go on. Yeah, see, but I, see, I don't think you have to make it niche. I would advertise that shit like I did the Xbox 360, dude, because that's the one for the for some reason in my brain that sticks out. I remember seeing so many motherfucking commercials and advertisements for the Xbox 360. Yeah, I think such a big both jump. of them. Well, no, I understand, but I think both of them should 
balls to the wall. That's what I would do. I put that shit on the I, ABC right. and NBC, and that's what I would do. Here, here's here's one of the problems. I think that both of these companies are walking are walking on thin ice with with adver- trying to advertise these things, right? Because these devices, like besides their graphical upgrades and maybe their memory upgrades, what are they giving you? Faster are, and strong. That's what everybody's are, offering you. That's yeah, the they, only thing people are offering you. But yeah. but does it actually run <laughs> faster than a PlayStation Four run games? And so if people find this out, if people find this out that that these game that they just spent five hundred bucks on a new console that gives them better graphics. Yes. <laughs> yes. But, 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 but that's the on. idea. But better graphics compared to the 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 small market that four K is, right? Mm. No, dude. More streamline. Hold on. They're coming at you with. Faster loading times, uh, faster compatibility with online multiplayers, and better graphics. That's what the entire upgrade for a computer and or a motherfucking console, that's the definition of an upgrade. W- why? I, I, I don't understand your logic, Sebastian. This, because this, I, is, this is probably the biggest leap in console upgrade, the Xbox ever. Scorpio, that's ever, it's ever. A, that's ever come. It's bigger yeah. than every other one. So why is it discounted as something that it that it's not? I don't understand. Actually, I, I actually I actually disagree with you. If we're to, if we're I understand the numbers the numbers wise it's the biggest, mm-hmm. but if we're talking straight straight performance and straight um, compatibility, it's definitely Xbox to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. But no, you nice. couldn't play Xbox games on the xbox 360 you will be able to play xbox one games on the xbox scorpio because no, you're it's talking the same about big, biggest leap biggest leap like no you said compatibility console. this isn't the oh, best I, compatibility I, I, right. it will be the best in compatibility i not compatibility i'm just talking like straight upgrades and straight like running different types of games and the upgrades yeah. to the games in that market yep. it's definitely xbox to xbox 360 no nope. not even close not even close because no, the difference the difference between 480p and 720p isn't nearly as big as the difference between 1080p and 4K. Not even close. This okay. there is I no have a question about your marketing. Okay. Okay. What is a lot of people in the United States doing differently with their TVs than they say they did 10 years ago? Using them less? They use them a lot less, but what else? They're cutting the cord. Hmm. Okay? They get Netflix. They get Hulu. They get those things so they can binge watch. They can do it without watching, you know, seeing the advertisements and being bored to tears, you know, because this advertisement has nothing to do with them. It's nothing that's going to, they're ever going to buy. Okay? Or the advertisements are so dumbed down that you have no idea what the hell they're selling in the first place. Okay. So, I mean, like right now, the only time right now my TV is actually on is if I'm bored playing one of my games <laughs> on the computer or if there's a hockey game on. Other than that, my TV sits here. Mark's TV, his Vizio that he put in my living room, could probably sit here and last for 30 years the way I use it. <laughs> and the thing is, you know what? If I'm watching TV because I'm what you know because I'm bored or whatever, and there's a commercial comes on the channel I'm watching, guess what I do? I flip to a different channel. It doesn't have a freaking commercial on, okay? Yeah. Because you get tired of hearing it. Okay. You, guys are you such become tone deaf. Haters. To it. Okay. No, I, I don't. But my my problem is how many times do you watch a alcohol commercial and you're wondering. What the hell are you advertising? That's okay. Yeah, at least with there, Cialis yeah, there and Viagra, is no, you know exactly what they're doing. Okay, they're, they're but, not. The problem is I there mean, is so, no such thing as targeted if, advertisement if gamer, on television. Um, excuse me. Uh, yes, there is. No, 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 no. I mean, specifically. No, 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 no. Uh, Google builds a profile of me every day, and no matter what site I go on, so long as they have AdSense, they will build an advertising profile specifically for me, the individual, Right. for that day. Exactly. I understand that. They can't do that on TV. Yeah, I understand that. But advertising is still specified. They may not be able to do that, but they, they will. They do do 
age specific. They do sex specific. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They I have mean, a, a you broad go demographic, channel, yeah. Okay, which is our action channel here. Okay, and you know what you're seeing as commercials? Venus you pills. see alcohol, and you see Cialis and Viagra. Because <laughs> they know because who's watching, who, but they only watch, have the broadest idea the of who's channel. watching. You know, All right, Karate we're done. And, this is it. This is yeah, it. We are way late, stuff. and and Uncle Mark has a surprise for us. <laughs> oh, okay. What? A gaming smarts challenge? What? That's what I I'm talking it. about. Oh, right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. All right, let me bring up the slackers. scoreboard. Bam. Oh, so I got to replace. Take one. I got to replace Nathan you make game with smarts challenge? Pops. I love gaming smarts challenge. No, did you make one? I have. No, I didn't. You can give me zero. <laughs> what? No, Dad, it's a guessing game. Oh, it's a guessing game. Uh huh. Oh. What's our topic this week, what I, Mark Jr.? What am I guessing? Hello? Hello? Mark Jr.? Jr.? I threw my <laughs> phone on the floor. <laughs> okay. No, so, what's our topic this week? All right. 12 common myths. True or false? Ooh, common myths. All right, let's go across the scoreboard. That would put Sebastian up first. All right, Sebastian. All right. Number one, 90% of U.S. currency has cocaine on it. True or false? Ooh. So, wait, are we guessing if this is a myth or not? Is no, it a, it, no. It's, it's just, that's the name of it. 12 common myths. Oh, and oh. I'm asking, is this myth true or false? Ninety okay. percent of U.S. currency has cocaine on it. I feel like this is some wild stuff. I feel like this is like so wild that it's true. Let's go true. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. Ninety percent of U.S. Nice. currency has cocaine on it. it. Is. Wow. That includes coins, fellas. Just Damn. in case you were wondering. So. <laughs> no, because they say if you, put, <laughs> if you put one bill with cocaine on it in a money counter, it will. Uh, contaminate the next like five million bills that go through that money counter. Damn. Yeah, with one little thing of cocaine. Okay, Damn. so who we got? I'm up next. Go for it. Hold on. What? What the fuck? Is it fucking up? I'm telling you, oh, technical no, difficulties. No, no, no technical difficulties. George Bernard Lansing. Solved an unsolvable math problem by accident. George Bernard Lansing. No cheating, Dad. I've never heard of that man. You can hear my keyboard if I'm searching something. Um, George Bernard Lansing. Well, see, see, I should have, I should have phrased it the way they phrased it, but I didn't want to do that. So, mm. <laughs> I'll say true. It is true. Yeah. The man was, the man was late. To school one morning, he got caught up uh, at a store, came in, and the math class was already gone for the day. And he wrote, there was two math problems on the chalkboard that were just theories that he wrote down and then solved over the weekend and turned in on Monday. Nice. Wow. So. <laughs> All right, pops. Wow. Let's see what you got. That's All right. Goodwill hunting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number three. That's like goodwill hunting. Celery is a negative calorie food. True. Yes, it is true. Dang! It takes more energy to eat it than it gives to you. Wow, a perfect first round. That's know, incredible. Right? Damn. It's for dieters. It okay? It fills them up and not makes them gain any weight. So. Okay, Sebastian. All right, Sebastian, you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Okay. A pilot once stole a plane and landed it in the middle of Manhattan twice. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ballsy. False. <laughs> wrong, it's true. It happened oh, on the same... One. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> John Stevenson, in 1973, bet a man in a bar $20 he would steal a plane and land it on that street. 
he not only did it, he took the plane back and made the same bet four hours later and did it again before <laughs> being caught. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dang. All right. All right. I'm time for all me right. to take the all lead. Give it up. What's up? All right, Clay. Now this one's tricky because this is like this is one of the most commons when I was reading through the list. Okay. Animals have a sixth sense for bad weather. True or false? False. Oh, you're right. Damn. Most people say true. You are right. Damn. There is no empirical data. There has been 17 studies of over 15,000 dogs, this, this, and it is no more likely than anything else that a dog would be considered for a sixth sense. Nice. I rock. I knew that shit is garbage. <laughs> Just like people and their cats. They don't understand that they're being brainwashed. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, cats carry fucking diseases that yeah, convince you that cats are best. Yes, they do. It most mm -hmm. certainly that was one I had on here that I took off. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Right, Clay. Give it pops. Or dad. Pops. Mm -hmm. Dad. The human soul has mass. True or false? I'm going to say false. I don't care. <laughs> Cuz you right. can't tell me the human has a soul. So He's right. Can't tell him that the human has a soul. In 1872, a German scientist, why I didn't write down the name, I don't know, tried to capture the mass by, capturing, by putting a glass container with just one screen going to the top box, and he supposedly closed that box and weighed the soul. But this has been disproven time and again. Mm -hmm. And wasn't there another oh, experiment where a guy put dying people on a scale and watched to see if it changed as they passed into the next life or whatever? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Nice. All right, Sebastian, yep. you got a chance to catch up now. All right, Sebastian. I got I got twelve of them. Okay. So and a, and a tiebreaker. Damn. Okay. Okay. All right, Sebastian. Dogs are raised for food in the Asian on the Asian continent. True. Yep, hundred percent. Nice. <laughs> One hundred percent. Stereotypes come into play. In China, Vietnam, and Korea, they are ra they are the most common animal raised for food. Nice. I like it. Do they keep them in small cages so they don't move around too much? So the yes, meat is and nice they, and, and they advertise and they advertise like free range where they're like on a farm and they can run and shit for real. It's wild. I looked that shit up. That's awesome. Yeah, nice. it's All right, pretty my wild, turn. Man. I'm time to take the lead. All right, back. here we go. Turn. Trying to get the lead, Clay. Uh huh. Twelve common myths. Your phone is more German fested than the grocery carts you grab at the grocery store. That's correct. Yes, it's true. Hundred percent. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Phone, in case you're wondering, your phone is the most disgusting thing you will touch throughout the entire day. Yep. Obviously, yep. unless you're sticking your hands in poo or something, <laughs> then you probably worse. But oh, I don't know. The yeah, variety of germs on your phone is probably greater than the variety in poo. Maybe I don't know. Depends on yeah. whose poo no, it is. You, <laughs> yeah, no, you're 100% right, Clay. You're right. Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad. You ready? Number nine. Martin Van Buren was the first yeah. American president. Now, now, before you answer, think about it. Martin Van Buren was the first American president. I, I understand what you're saying. I think I understand what you're saying. Hmm. I would say true, probably because they mean he's the first American born. He is correct. Aha! Nice. We went through that Mark. on our presidential, what you call it. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Martin Van Buren was the first pr president to not be ruled or owned by another sovereign nation. Yep. Yeah. The first one to not be born under British rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or so some, any whatever. other country's rule? No, because somebody, uh, uh, somebody else was a. I looked at it. Somebody else was a, 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 French a resident subject. of Spain. Oh, no, okay. Spain. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, are our All final right, rounds Ash. worth two points? Are we going two point sure. final round? Can... All right. That's fine with me. Sweet. Okay, two point final round. Sebastian, yeah. toilets can swim up the toilet. What? Snakes can swim up through your toilet. True. 100% true. This happened numerous occasions. A man even got bit on his testicles before. Woo! Makes you scared to sit on the toilet too long, huh? <laughs> I mean, maybe not in mom and dad's house, but that's different. No, not right. in mom and dad's house. Yeah. My turn. I'm going to take the game away right here. All Let's right. do it. But, oh, you know this one, too. Lame. Okay, uh, give me, the, give me the one intended for dad. No. Okay. No. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Clay. Mm -hmm. Hitler was a failed artist and homeless before joining World War I. Mm, that is correct. It's true. Yeah, you're a dick. I knew you would know <laughs> that one. Yes. Yes. It's true. Like, I haven't <laughs> tried to understand the evilest mind to ever exist. You're a fool true, not I have to try. To. I know. Stalin was more Sorry. evil than Hitler. Shut up. Who was? Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin. What? Oh, no, and Mao I, I, probably I, I, was too. I mean, there's an argument for each of them. No, and and I don't think because what I think is Stalin got much more time. That's all mm. that was. <laughs> okay, Dad, you can't win. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he can. If he gets two points, he he'll tie it up. Yeah. Okay, Dad. All right. Number twelve. Dog food contains dogs. <laughs> what? What do you say, Pops? Are we talking worldwide or just the United States? <laughs> I just have dog food contains huh? dogs. Dog oh. food contains dogs. Wow. False. He's correct, Clay. It is false. Nice. I was hoping it was. <laughs> it was it contains it contains a lot of horse meat all right the score after the final round is right. sebastian four clay five and pops five so now we have to go to the tiebreaker man that was too easy because you and dad got perfect scores lame i'm changing it up okay <laughs> <laughs> all, like, i think all of them but one were true no, there's one, two, three, four, five that were false, Sebastian. Five out of 12. Huh. I felt like all of them were true. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like all of them were true. Right, just said breaker? false and one, or tied with it. <laughs> Dick. Okay. All right. Yep. Well, see, it's a, it's a multiple choice, so it's okay. going to be a shitty tiebreaker. Whatever. Um, okay. Everybody knows in 1945, in August, America dropped two atom bombs. In 1946, what three other countries had the atomic technology? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 46, you said? Now, don't answer first. You're older than me. You might clue me in. Um, I'll answer first. By 46, oh, one ouch. year after the war... Yep. What other three, not including the United States? Yeah, yeah, not including the United States. What All other right. three countries had the ability for nuclear technology? All right, here's my guess. The UK. Yep. S Spain. And... No. Oh. oh, God, this last one's hard. Um, sh Japan. No, Damn. you were you, one out of three, Clay. Ready? One, so one, three. Out, one, one out of one more three. point. UK, yeah, he got one France, more point. UK, UK, France, and Russia. He got two out of three. Russia, France is not correct, fellas. Do you know who had that technology? Oh. It's hilarious. Huh. The Canadians. <laughs> yes, love it. Oh. Dead is the no, that winner. That makes sense because they're part of UK. So, no, not no. They were yeah. they're their yeah, own sovereign nation. Uh, the Manhattan Project, right, but was they were run, they had such. Yeah, but no, the Manhattan Project was run by 
the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada. I'm pretty sure it was yeah. longer than that until Russia got nuclear technology. No, they no we they got no. almost no, because, confirmed that no, they because had they the were technology doing they were doing heavy water experiments during the war, and then when they got right, and then when they got the V two technology off the Germans when they uh, captured a good portion of Germany, they put it all together. I looked that shit up, Clay. So, so I mean, I, I they, believe they captured. You. They captured some heavy no, water sites also. Russia dropped Russia so. didn't drop their first bomb till forty nine and uh UK didn't drop their bomb till fifty two. But they still had the technology to do it. Ah, okay. All right. Um are you guys we're already at an hour. Do you guys wanna talk about this last topic or end yep, it? Yep, let's here? do it. Cause I, I mean, this no, last topic. All right, Sebastian, why don't you introduce this final topic? All right, this is an article on rockpapershotgun.com, and it's by Brendan Caldwell, and it's about, um, it says, the title is, Broke Protocol is a low-poly GTA online. Now, if you guys click on the link, it is essentially Minecraft GTA. Like, that's the graphic <laughs> style. Mm-hmm. So, you and can picture it, right, guys? I'm get I'm loading it up right now. Yeah. Okay. You know what Minecraft looks like? Yeah, yeah. And you you know the gameplay yeah, of uh, GTA, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So Sebastian, you were you were getting I died often enough in that game. You were getting into this before the podcast. Where were you going with what you were trying to say? You know, I. All right. I've had a lot of fun with GTA Online. Like recently, it's gotten like. Not so fun because my friends don't play it anymore because um, PlayStation doesn't have like any space on their hard drive. Mm. But um, I th I find it so hilarious that such an innocent game like Minecraft can have can be interpreted into such an awful game like <laughs> GTA. <laughs> awful in a good way. Listen, well, like, what do you mean yeah. by awful? You mean yeah, awful in a you good mean way. as far as shoot them up and you know, beat crap and you is yeah. that what you're talking about it, being awful? If you, if you watch the video, okay. like it's full on. Like you see some hookers. You you can shoot at people as you want. You can crash into people. They explode. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's awesome. And it's it's in the yeah, and it's and it's in the it's a, that would I think would be hilarious. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, and and you think about it, you could run it on I mean, to me, basically that would be anything. That'd be awesome. You could probably port this to mobile. Right, exactly. And it would work just fine. Right. Yeah. And the best exactly. part about this, the best part about this is it's free. You just download it from their website. It's okay. in like super alpha and it's oh. like, I don't know, it's a few megabytes. It's a tiny little game because, you know, it's low poly mm -hmm. count and there's not much to it. They don't have any like crazy right. shaders or anything going on. But, um, yeah, I, I, I put this article in there because I thought, what a, a truly accessible way to deliver Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome looking, dude. Yeah. It is. It's awesome looking, yeah. It looks fun as shit. And we should I all know what go it looks on like, Steam. I, you know, I have the worst frick. <laughs> we should all go on Internet Steam Greenlight world, but, and vote for um, it. <coughs> Because right I now, mean, I, I I found it so funny just watching. <laughs> just keep talking, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> right now, what? Well, no, I just I just found I just found it so funny. Like when I was watching uh, uh, Bryce when he was just first getting into Minecraft and how excited he was about it. You know, and you're just sitting there going, "Wow, this looks like technology he had when Atari came out." <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it was so low graphic and so, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you put it with GTA, which was all, I mean, to me, GTA always tried to be at the top with their graphics and, you know, their interface and that kind of stuff. To me, anyways. You know, and then you put the two of them together. I, th I would find that freaking hilarious. Oh, it is. It's great I'd looking. I'd probably be laughing my ass off more than I'd be playing the game. Mm -hmm. You know? And because I mean, I... you got this beautiful, you probably got beautiful... But then it's so clunky. It, it would look, look clunky because of the way that they're shaped, and just I'd be laughing my ass mm -hmm. off. 
So, <laughs> so all you have to do is so. go on their website um, or go on IndieDB and download it. Um, you don't even have to go through Steam or anything. And you can play online. I don't know if you can host servers. I saw a few active servers when I tried it out for a few minutes. Um, but, you know, there's no preamble to the game. There's it's, it's in such an early alpha stage that there's no explanation for anything. You know, it's just like, uh, here's sort of kind uh, of a okay. game. Go. So, um, <laughs> it's... Uh, sometimes those are the best fun ones. I, I actually started more. watching a walkthrough of how to get started in the game because I couldn't figure it out. Like, it didn't seem like there was actually anything to do and I and it didn't have good explanation of the controls. So I was just kind of walking around on the streets punching random people and then random people in business suits would pull out a fucking hatchet and whack me out. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody watching and listening. Man, that delay is great. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, check this out. Oh, shit, I forgot to put it up on the big screen. Yeah, it's called Broke Protocol. You can find, I mean, do a search for it or go on IndieDB and greenlight them on Steam while, while Steam Greenlight still exists. Because this looks like a really neat concept that could use a lot more work. It's pretty cool. All right, now for the rapid reactions. Or delayed reactions in the, in the case of <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> delayed reactions. Oops, I got I to gotta do this. Um, whoa, oh what God, is all that, Mark on? Jr.? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, there we go. All right, some rapid reactions. We'll start with the Gaming Smarts Challenge winner, Pops. Jerome Bettis has been laid off by ESPN. Go. Okay. It is what it is. And, you know, everybody loses their job once in a while. But, uh, hey, you can find another gig. I mean, come right. on. How many other football channels are there out there? I don't know, like 400 Fox Sports Network. Sebastian, President Trump fired James Comey. Go. Who is that? The who is that? Mark Are Jr. President him? Trump FBI fired Hunter. James Comey. Dude, really, Sebastian? Anyways, that's horrible. Eat dickish. It sounds like Nixon, dude. Mm hmm. And even if, if it was about... innocent, it still looks really bad. But dude. It it looks. Who was the James worst. Comey investigating? Ooh. Come on, White House. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. It's just fuck. Oh my god. All right, Sebastian. You need some meth when you got no GTA. Um, I need meth <laughs> and GTA. <laughs> okay, cool. I just yeah. Dad, a judge in Massachusetts vacated Aaron Hernandez's murder murder conviction because he died before his appeal was heard. Go. Um, he's dead. He saved us a bunch of money. I'm okay. Good point. All right. Sebastian, scientists named a newly discovered dinosaur Zool after the famed Ghostbusters villain because of its horns and stuff. Go. Well, Zool is a pretty, pretty bad, big, like big bad guy. Um, I don't know how I feel about this dinosaur. I mean, dinosaurs are pretty big, right? I mean, many of them. I thought. No, but I meant like he's awesome. pretty That's evil. Cool. At least, but at least they're paying homage to Ghostbusters. Fuck it. We like we're we're just grasping for names. We're not making it to Rana Rana Rikes. So we make it <laughs> Zool. <laughs> we'll name that shit Zool after the after the Ghostbusters. All like right. It. Mark Jr. Hellboy is getting a reboot. Go. Okay. Um the first movie wasn't horrible and the second one was. Um I, th I like the see? first movie. Yeah. Are, yeah, yeah, I mean it was okay. Are you gonna CGI it? How are they doing it? Is it live yeah, action it was like all right. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I just write down the headlines and hope you guys have something funny no. to say about it. Okay. My Last bad. one, right. Dad. 
Early signs <laughs> indicate that this year's Dota 2 prize pool will surpass even last year's $20 million prize pool Why are you guys and him this? smash, devour, and embarrass the estimated $5 million prize pool for this year's League of Legends oh. tournament. Go. The what? Yeah, don't ask him this. <laughs> All right, League Sebastian, go. Tournament. This is the video game <laughs> that Rob plays and Sebastian no. plays. <laughs> No. And they're going to cut up that kind of money? No. Okay, oh. anyway, Dota 2 is a is a worse video game, and Riot doesn't allow uh, funded prize pools yet, so that's why. Mm -hmm. Yes, Riot is a pretty backward company. It's true. When it comes to their fans, oh, yeah, they're fan so funding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, that ends that. So this is I like, like watching it. the tournaments on TV where they gave a million dollars to the winning team because uh, they played Battlefield Five and beat the other team or whatever. Oh, and, shit. And no, so Dad. We're, we're I mean, it you is that. We're rewarding you for sitting on your ass playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> it is that, but I mean, last year's Dota 2 uh, Worlds winner, I believe, won $9 million for taking first place. A little more right, than $9 million. Dollars. First off, what's Dota? What's that stand for? Defenders of <laughs> the Ancients. What's that stand for? So, it's a video game. Yeah. And it's on the line of what? Uh, no, but I mean, League of Legends. Legends. You know, I mean, yes. what game would I know about that would, you know... League of Legends. So I'd have a comparison. Okay, League of Legends. Yeah. And this is how people are going to make their living. So that means we have way too many people spending money on that kind of stuff so that these companies can actually spend that kind of money to give you a reward. Now, all but I mean, about one and a half million. In, will you shut up for a moment? All but one and a half million of that twenty million dollar prize pool comes from fans. They pay for it. Yep. That's what I'm saying. People have. have okay. Let's put it this way, Clay. Okay. If you want to send two hundred dollars to them, so that you know you can help up their. Uh, whatever they they win, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. You send the two hundred dollars to me, and I will use it wisely. I won't blow it out the door. I don't hey, believe you. Thank you all for listening and watching. You can find us on iTunes or uh, Apple Podcasts. I don't know which it is. Google Play, SoundCloud, or almost anywhere. Check us out on YouTube and Twitch. We're going to be spending more time on Twitch. And if you're listening to this after the fact, make sure to catch Monday Night Live, usually simulcast on YouTube and Twitch. But don't miss it. Leave us a like, subscribe, I can speak words, and most importantly, a rating on Apple Podcasts because that help us, helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate it. And don't forget to use your promotional Tourette's. Screaming swear words, cussing out bitches, fi flipping off your mom. I mean, whatever it takes. We'll see you all next week. Be easy. See you later. Be good. Can't be good, don't get caught. Nice! I like it. I mean, that was almost like smooth and stuff. Already left. Yeah, he left the call oh, immediately. <laughs> Damn! <laughs>